Hello, my name is Sam. I am from Italy. I live in a small town called Verona, but I have a dream. I want to study in London. London is a big city in England. It has many famous places like the Big Ben, the London Eye, and Buckingham Palace. I want to see these places. I also want to learn English better. I think London is the best place for that. Verona is a quiet place with beautiful old buildings and friendly people. I have lived here all my life. I go to school every day. I like to play soccer with my friends. I also like to read books and watch movies. Every day I think about London. I imagine myself walking on its streets, visiting museums, and going to a big school. I feel excited when I think about it. But there is a problem. My parents are worried about my dream. One evening, I sit with my parents in the living room. I say, Mom, Dad, I want to talk to you. They look at me and say, What is it, Sam? I take a deep breath and say, I want to study in London. I want to go there next year. My mom looks surprised. She says, But Sam, London is very far. It is a big city. It can be dangerous. My dad nods and says, Yes, Sam, we worry about you. You are safe here in Verona. I understand their worries. London is far from home. It is a big change. But I feel ready. I say, I know it is far. But I am careful. I want to learn. I want to see the world. My parents look at each other. They are silent for a moment. Then my mom says, We love you, Sam. We want you to be safe, but we also want you to be happy. My dad adds, We need to think about this. It is a big decision. I feel hopeful. I know they are worried, but they also want me to be happy. I smile and say, Thank you, Mom and Dad. I will be careful. I promise. That night, I go to bed and think about London. I know it will not be easy. But I am ready to work hard. I am ready to follow my dream. I feel excited and happy. London, here I come. Chapter 2. Planning the Trip I am very happy. My parents are thinking about my dream. I know it is a big decision. But I am ready. I want to go to London. One day, I talk to my friend Alex. Alex is my best friend. We play soccer together. We go to school together. I tell Alex about my dream. I say, Alex, I want to study in London. Alex looks excited. He says, That is amazing, Sam. I want to go too. We talk a lot about London. We think about all the things we want to see and do. We decide to go together. We will be study partners in London. We start to plan our trip. First, we need to get our passports. A passport is a small book. It shows who you are. It lets you travel to other countries. We go to the office and get our passports. We feel excited. Next, we need to buy our plane tickets. We look on the internet. We find a good price for tickets to London. We use our savings to buy the tickets. We are going to fly on a big plane. It is my first time on a plane. I feel a little nervous but also very excited. We also need a place to stay in London. We look for a small apartment. We find one near our new school. It is not big, but it is nice. We are happy. We will live together in London. Now, we need to pack our bags. We make a list of things we need, clothes, books, and some food for the trip. We pack everything carefully. Our bags are ready. We are ready. My parents are still worried. They say, Sam, be careful. London is a big city. Stay safe. I promise them I will be careful. I give them a big hug. I say, Thank you, Mom and Dad. I will call you every day. Alex and I are very excited. We talk about our new life in London. We talk about our new school. We talk about the places we will visit. The big day is coming. We will soon be on our way to London. Our adventure is about to begin. Chapter 3 
The journey begins. The big day is here. Alex and I are ready. We say goodbye to our families. My mom and dad give me a big hug. They say, be safe, Sam. We love you. I say, I love you too. I will be careful. Alex and I go to the airport. The airport is big and busy. Many people are there. Some people are happy. Some people look tired. We check our bags. We get our boarding passes. We wait for our plane. We feel excited and a little nervous. It is my first time on a plane. Alex has never been on a plane either. We talk about our new life in London. We talk about our new school. We can't wait to see the city. Finally, it is time to board the plane. We get on the plane. It is very big inside. We find our seats. I sit by the window. Alex sits next to me. We fasten our seat belts. The plane starts to move. I look out the window. The plane goes faster and faster. Then, we are in the air. I see the ground getting smaller and smaller. We are flying. It is amazing. I feel happy. Alex looks happy too. The flight is long. We talk, read books, and watch movies. We also sleep for a while. The flight attendants are very nice. They bring us food and drinks. We eat a sandwich and drink some juice. After a few hours, something happens. The plane starts to shake. It is turbulence. I feel scared. Alex feels scared, too. But we stay calm. We hold hands. The turbulence stops. We feel safe again. We look out the window. We see the clouds. We see the blue sky. It is beautiful. We feel excited again. We are getting closer to London. Finally, the plane starts to go down. We are landing. I see the city below. It is big and full of lights. We are in London. The plane lands smoothly. We get off the plane. We are very happy. We get our bags and go through customs. The officer checks our passports. Everything is fine. We are in London. Our adventure has begun. We can't wait to explore the city and start our new life. Chapter 4 First Adventure We are in London. Alex and I feel very excited. We take a taxi to our new apartment. The city is big and busy. There are many people and cars. We see red buses and black taxis. We see tall buildings and big shops. Everything is new and exciting. Our apartment is small but nice. It has two bedrooms, a small kitchen, and a living room. We unpack our bags. We put our clothes in the closet. We are ready to explore the city. The next morning, we wake up early. We are very excited. We have a map of London. We plan to visit some famous places. Our first stop is the Big Ben. It is a big clock tower. It is very famous. We take many pictures. Then, we go to the London Eye. It is a big Ferris wheel. We buy tickets and get on. The wheel goes up slowly. From the top, we can see the whole city. It is beautiful. We feel very happy. After the London Eye, we walk to Buckingham Palace. It is the home of the Queen. The palace is very big and beautiful. We see the guards in their red uniforms. They stand very still. We take more pictures. We walk around the city. We see many shops, cafes, and parks. Everything is new and interesting. We feel like explorers. But after a while, we get tired. We decide to go back to our apartment. On the way back, something happens. We get lost. We take a wrong turn and do not know where we are. We feel a little scared. The streets look different. We do not see any familiar places. I say, Alex, what do we do? Alex says, 
Don't worry, Sam. We can ask for help. We see a kind-looking lady. We walk up to her and say, Excuse me. We are lost. Can you help us? The lady smiles and says, Of course. Where do you need to go? We show her our map. She points us in the right direction. We thank her and start walking again. We feel better. Soon, we find our way back. We see our apartment building. We feel very relieved. After that, we decide to take a break. We find a small cafe. We sit down and order some tea and sandwiches. We feel happy and relaxed. We talk about all the things we saw. But then, something happens. Alex looks worried. He says, Sam, where is my bag? I look around. The bag is not there. Alex's bag is missing. We feel scared. The bag has Alex's wallet and passport. We need those things. We try to stay calm. I say, Alex, let's look around. Maybe we left it somewhere. We look around the cafe. We ask the staff. But no one has seen the bag. We feel more scared. We decide to go back to the museum. Maybe we left the bag there. We walk quickly. We feel very worried. When we get to the museum, we ask the staff. They say they have not seen the bag. We look around, but it is not there. Alex looks very sad. He says, Sam, what do we do? My passport is in the bag. I need it. I feel worried too, but I try to stay calm. I say, Alex, we will go to the police. They can help us. We find a police station. We tell the police officer about the bag. He is very kind. He says, don't worry. We will try to find it. But it may take some time. He takes our information and gives us a number to call. We leave the police station. We feel a little better, but still worried. Alex says, Sam, I feel so bad. I lost my bag. I say, It's okay, Alex. We will find a way. Let's go back to the apartment and think. We go back to our apartment. We sit down and talk. We make a plan. We will call the police every day to check. We will also be more careful with our things. We know it will be hard, but we will try our best. That night, we feel tired and worried. But we also feel a little stronger. We know that problems can happen. We know we can face them together. London is a big city with many surprises. We are ready for the challenges. Chapter 5. The Accident The next day, Alex and I feel a bit better. We still worry about the lost bag, but we decide to enjoy our time in London. We make a new plan. Today, we will visit Hyde Park and go for a walk. Hyde Park is very big and beautiful. There are many trees, flowers, and a big lake. We see people walking, running, and riding bikes. We feel happy and relaxed. We walk along the path and talk about our plans. Suddenly, Alex says, Sam, I want to rent a bike. Let's ride around the park. I think it is a good idea. We go to the bike rental place and get two bikes. We start to ride. It is fun. The wind blows in our faces. We laugh and feel free. But then something terrible happens. Alex is riding in front of me. He turns to look back and talk to me. He doesn't see a rock on the path. His bike hits the rock. Alex falls off the bike. He hits the ground hard. I hear him cry out in pain. I stop my bike quickly and run to Alex. He is on the ground, holding his leg. He looks very hurt. I feel very scared. 
I say, Alex, are you okay? He says, No, my leg hurts a lot. I can't move. I see people around us. They look worried. One person calls an ambulance. Another person helps me keep Alex calm. The ambulance arrives quickly. The paramedics are very kind. They check Alex and say, We need to take him to the hospital. I go with Alex in the ambulance. I hold his hand. He is in a lot of pain. I feel very scared and worried. The ambulance goes fast. We reach the hospital. The doctors take Alex inside. They say, Please wait here. We will take care of him. I wait in the waiting room. I feel very nervous. I don't know what will happen. I hope Alex will be okay. I call his parents and tell them what happened. They are very worried. I promise to stay with Alex and take care of him. After some time, a doctor comes to talk to me. He says, Alex has a broken leg. He needs surgery. He will be okay, but he needs to stay in the hospital for a week. I feel a little better. At least Alex will be okay. I go to see Alex. He looks tired and in pain, but he smiles when he sees me. I say, Alex, you are very brave. You will be okay. He says, Thank you, Sam. I am glad you are here. For the next week, I visit Alex every day. I bring him books and food. I sit with him and talk to him. He is getting better slowly. The doctors and nurses are very kind. They take good care of him. Finally, after a week, Alex is ready to leave the hospital. He has a cast on his leg and needs crutches to walk, but he feels much better. We go back to our apartment. We are both very tired, but happy to be together again. Alex and I are back at our apartment. Alex has a cast on his leg and uses crutches to walk. He needs to rest and heal. I help him as much as I can. I cook food, clean the apartment, and help him move around. One day, Alex has a doctor's appointment. We go to the hospital. The doctor checks his leg and says, Alex, you are healing well, but you need more rest. Come back next week for another checkup. We feel happy. Alex is getting better. In the evenings, we watch movies and play games. We laugh and try to stay positive. Sometimes Alex feels sad. He says, Sam, I want to walk without crutches. I want to explore the city. I say, I know, Alex. You will be able to do that soon. Just be patient. One week passes. Then two weeks. Alex is getting stronger. He can move around more easily. We go back to the doctor. The doctor says, Alex, you are healing very well. You can start walking without crutches soon. Just be careful. One day, we get a call from the police. They found Alex's lost bag. We go to the police station to get it. Alex is very happy. He says, Sam, this is great news. Now we have everything we need. Our new school starts next week. We are excited and a little nervous. We prepare our school bags and get our books ready. We talk about our classes and the new friends we will meet. Finally, the big day arrives. We go to school. It is a big building with many students. We feel excited. We go to our classes and meet our teachers. Everyone is very kind. We make new friends and start learning new things. At the end of the day, we go back to our apartment. We feel happy and tired. Alex says, Sam, today was a great day. I feel ready for the future. I say, me too, Alex. We had some hard times, but we are stronger now.